All right, I've been digging into this map now, and I've stacked together the tips and tricks or whatever you want to call it, useful data that you can use to improve your gameplay on the map. These are all like after me digging into it, trying to look for spots to get to, uh, noticing differences in the game, and this is what I gathered. Enjoy. Now this one is bound to be fixed. What you can do is you take a molly out, you cook it, and as soon as you let go, you swap to your weapon. Like that. It'll now go in your belt, and it'll be in flames forever. Even if when you're driving, even when you're driving a vehicle, you'll have a cool trail behind you. I mean, it's kind of just a glitch right now. It'll probably get fixed soon, but it's something you can do. There is now a white ghillie suit in the airdrop. And that thing makes you close to invisible when you lay down. It is insane. And it looks pretty damn puffy too. It's beautiful, man. Look at that. Yeah, you get him. You can also inspect weapons now. Hit J with any gun and it'll show it up. Now you can't do it with uh, pants and all that jazz, but it'll be cool when you get... Wow, look at this, dude. Holy shit. That is beautiful, huh? Hmm. It seems like ghillie suits are a lot more common now. I've gone for so many airdrops, and I feel like I almost always find a ghillie suit in one of them. It's kind of crazy. Now, this white one is a beauty. The fat rock near Goroka leaves for a sick sniper spot. Now, there is only one way to get up on it, and I'm going to show you it. You better use this because it is nasty. First, you vault up here. Then, you got to do a little bit of a jump here. Now, I really like this because they add like kind of a... You got to do it right to get the good spots that spot down there can be a little bit tricky simply jump over here now slowly turn your side to slowly go upwards because if you start like pushing too fast then you'll slide down like this when you then make it past here you just continue to walk on up the rest is easy and well now you get to enjoy a six sniper spot imagine having an arm up here with a 15 times just any sniper with an eight times I mean, you could you could snipe a thousand meters, no problem. Of course, there's multiple rocks you can get on. I feel like you can get on any of these, but it's like it's tricky. On this one, there's one way to get up, and as you can see, if you get up, and you get a white ghillie, some big fat snip, and the end game is around here. You are just good to pick people one by one. There's plenty of, no, well, you can hide in either side of this in case you get shot at, right? So what you do is you hit the south side down here. This one is a little bit more tricky. You go up here, jump to this bad boy. You can't go right. Then you need to land right there. There's like a little pad you can stand on. Hold forward. Keep going. Now over here it gets a little bit tricky. You need to hit it right there and then further up. And then you just huck the stone or rock all the way up. Now you're in sniper's heaven. Running in the snow leaves footprints. As you can see here. You can now track enemies, which is really cool. I mean, all of a sudden you're running in the woods, you see footsteps, you're like, oh, well, shit, there must be a guy somewhere. It does not make a difference whether you wear boots or not. It is the same footprint. Just in case you were wondering, there is no optimal way of walking in the snow. Now, if you're a snake and you like to snake in the open, you do also leave a trail. This does look a little bit different, though. Kind of looks like a vehicle is driven here. But it's pretty cool. So we can like make those snow even more flat even though it's kind of the same height you do not leave any footprints behind you in regular dirt and all that it is only in the snow the same with the roads if they have snow on it you do not leave footprints here either only in the snow the footprints left behind do not vanish that means that you could have seen these and a guy could have left five minutes ago just keep that in mind before you go on a witch hunt or a duck hunt the vehicles leave trails behind too so as you can see here, we have Wild Fucky Boy, is where he ended up, at the airdrop. This map is actually not a square. It is it is round. I went out here because I saw the map. I was like, could I get on some eyes out here? But no, it is actually not six by six because there's some corners cut off, small details. But yeah, there's no eyes books out here you can get to, so no need to try. As you probably know, there's this new snowmobile here, and um, it is nutty. It's super fast on snow and handles way better than any vehicle in snow, in my opinion. The U.S. is pretty good out here too. Dacia is a little bit slidey. Bike is really slidey. Now, here's the kicker to this thing. It is very bad on asphalt. Like, the turning, the screeching, you can hear it. 
like it says no get me out here on dirt it's a little bit slower too you want this in the snow absolutely look at it fly You can here slow it a little bit down and then it gains again here. Right now you can vault through a lot of the small windows. Now this was the case in Merama 2 I think when it first dropped. So I think it's not intentional. I think it might be fixed down the road. But right now you can do it. So just any small window you see try to see if you can scoop on through it. You can also drive vehicles on ice. But they are way slippery. Now the snowmobile here isn't too bad. But the US, Dodge and all that. I'm not going to bother with that airdrop are very slidey. As you can see here, we have the Dacia on ice. Let's pull the handbrake. It is a slippery little schnick. So yeah, they, I mean, ice is fun and all, but it, it's slippery. Now when you walk on it, you feel no difference though. Don't worry about that. Players can no longer talk in the warm-up and the plane. Which is awesome, because there was nothing but bad jokes and your eardrums being blown out. As you can see here, when we try, it says voice channels all is disabled until one minute after the match starts. So that means if you like to have voice enabled, but you constantly forget to unmute it. Which is something that I do, because I want to talk to people in game too. You're in the coal mine, if you're not dropping here, maybe you're dropping over here looting up, or you're just coming in late and you hear a fight here, you can get to a pretty nasty spot up here too. It requires that you come in from the uh, north side here. Go on this rock. Over here, we're gonna hop on down to this connector thing. And then we can work our way up to the top if we want. So, as you can see here, up top, we kind of have a, a viewpoint of the entire place. Plus, we can even look out. So we can spot anybody with our crossbow. Nope. Now, this is a small one. This is the testing phase, but down a castle. I would not recommend going here. Apparently there's a few spots we can, I don't know if it's a few spots, but one spot where you can glitch through the ground, shoot people through the ground. So you're like down here or something and you're just walking on the ground shooting up at people. So I'd stay away from this from a little, little while longer, but it's probably going to be fixed real soon. So it might even not be anything now that you're watching this video. This center bridge here is pretty cool. It leaves for an iced out lake that you can walk and drive over. And right next to it is water. Now boats do spawn here from time to time. And well, it just leaves for such an awesome opportunity. Like it's not only you can't only cross the bridge. Then people know, all right, there's even either going to be swimming fish or there's going to be people on the bridge, right? Here you get all this room to cross. And I like that because I hate water. But you can't still swim if you want. The eyes cannot be broken. I know some people think about it and see like patches where it might look like you can jump in it, but no, underneath there's nothing. So don't be scared to walk on the ice, you're not going to fall through and die. Sadly, there's no way to get on top of this tall building. I have tried, same with the rocket. You can only get up to like two floors up here. I've been looking for glitch spots you can get up to. There is a hidden spot here you can sit in, but that that's about as juicy as it gets. Could have been cool, just night from up there. I mean, look at it. Imagine, right? I, it'd be cool if they added like an elevator. Anyways, off topic. Down in Volnova, there's a couple of houses where you can get on top of the rooftops and make some spicy plays. As you can see, here's one of them. And there's multiple where you can jump from a balcony here to another balcony and make a spot out of that. Or even maybe jump to this one and get on top of the church. There's plenty of ways to get that height advantage. And that's actually pretty cool that it opens this entire town up to be played in a different way than just ground battle or from window to window. See, here's another roof. There's another roof. And there's one. And all those you can get on top of. And other than that, just try your ways with the balcony. See what you can climb upon. And dominate your opponents from the rooftops, man. Alright, so here in the end, let's go through the new survival point system that they're putting in place. It seems like it's the same ranking system as before. There's just more titles you get, and at the end of a season, you get a skin, depending on what rank you reached. So you can see your survivor rank, you get six, at 6,000 points, you get parachute, apparently. We'll see how this turns out on the live servers, but I don't think it changed anything compared to leaderboard, as you can see here. Um, in my career, as we go to ranking here, this is the rank that I have. And that to me looks like the same system as before. The only difference is there's multiple levels now, titles you get, and you get a skin at the end of a season. Which I kind of like, man. You know, 
get some shit for free. If you want to play really try hard, go play face it, right? All right, so that's what I gathered from the new map so far. I'm sure we'll come up with a lot more new stuff, like weird shit you can do. Uh, if you found anything that I didn't include in the video, feel free to leave a comment and I'll leave a heart on it so other people can see it too. Thank you for watching, people. Have a wonderful day. I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> sound like you. Define cool. You sound, sound like you're like a, a cyborg. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Sounds like a transformer. Please intro do, 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 do. one for your mom. Autobots, Autobots must defend out. the Allspark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works. It's a good effect. <laughs> For us, that's not bad. That's <laughs> Autobots good. transform and roll out. It's not bad because it gives you like <laughs> it's amazing. pretty good.